How do you determine what your house is worth? If you're considering selling and aren't sure how to price it, or you're considering buying and you want to know what to consider when making an offer on a home, then this video will help. Hi, I'm Denise Hubbard with Berkshire Hathaway Home Services. And in addition to selling many homes throughout the Tampa Bay area, I am also a certified pricing strategy advisor or PSA for short. So I know exactly how to price homes. Here are a few things to consider. Size, condition, location, marketing, and negotiating. All of these have a huge effect on the price. Think about it. You can't compare a home that's 2,000 square feet to a home that's 4,000 square feet. That would be comparing a Maserati to a Hyundai. They just don't match. They are not comparable. You need to make sure you're comparing the size just like an appraiser would. In most cases, if there's enough inventory, an appraiser likes to go anywhere from about 200 to 400 square feet difference, both higher or lower, to use as comparables to determine pricing. If there isn't enough inventory, they will make adjustments on what their evaluation of the home is worth based on the difference in size. Now let's think about condition. Again, think about this in relation to a car. You can't compare a beat up old junker to a brand new shiny car, right? Well, the home's the same. When pricing, you have to look at things like, how upgraded is your home? How modern is it? What's the landscaping like? Are you in great location, close to freeways and shopping? How does your area compare to others? Are there any nuances like power poles, heavy traffic, loud noise, or anything that could be considered undesirable? Remember, when pricing, it's natural to feel like your home is worth more than everybody else's because we have an emotional attachment to it. But you've got to look at all the variables because underpricing your home will cause you to lose money, and so will overpricing it. Denise Hubbard with Berkshire Hathaway Home Services. Remember, who you work with matters because you matter.